Well, new restaurants, bars, office and residential buildings, and even parking garages are, are transforming downtown every day. With all these new structures come rooftops. While most of us would think of a roof as just being a roof, others see potential beauty. KITV Susan Fessel has more in tonight's Go Green Report. The student housing around West Campus used to be scarce. Now the area is bustling with places to live, study, and relax. The name of the building is the Quarters at Sterling House, and it is part of the whole quarter system. What makes this particular housing special is... Now, Sterling House has the largest green roof. It's so lush and inviting, it's hard to imagine. We would be looking at the top of the parking garage, which would be a concrete deck, and that would be it. We have planters with... Uh, all kinds of native and adapted uh, grasses and shrubs. And that's not all. We have a green lawn here that the students can relax on. There's even a shower for a quick rinse. Vine covered arbors shade and cool the roof while energy efficient fans keep the air flowing. In order to survive our central Texas climate, native and adaptive plants and trees are chosen. This is a native uh, lantana and that's a rosemary. Aside from beauty, green roofs have another purpose. The roof gardens absorb the stormwater. And as more buildings and homes go up, previous land is covered. The idea of green roofs is to bring that uh, sponge back into the system, the natural sponge. A bonus for the environment and the UT students at Sterling House. Susan Vessel, KITV News. Just beautiful. All of the plants and grasses are maintained with a drip system, so there's no water loss from sprinklers. Eleanor also tells KITV some cities like Toronto are passing laws requiring green roofs be built on all commercial and institutional buildings. The goal is to help with stormwater management.